What is up brand builders? Stephen Horahan here at brandmasteracademy.com and in this video you're going to learn about one of my favorite topics across the whole spectrum of branding which is brand archetypes. You're going to learn what they are, where they've come from and why they're increasingly important in the realm of brand strategy and specifically building a brand personality. Now, if you are new to the channel and you want actionable brand strategy tips and techniques to grow your business, well then hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and you will be well on your way. Now, I had heard of the term brand archetypes long before I ever took the time to dig into what they were, but the more I learned about brand strategy and the more I realized that brand personality played such a big role in brand strategy, the more I then realized that I needed to get my head around these brand archetypes if I wanted to build strategic brands. So what exactly are brand archetypes? Well, they're a collection of 12 personalities. Now each one of these personalities represents a certain collection of behaviors and they're personified within these characters called archetypes. Now each one of these archetypes will raise a certain core desire within us depending on the characteristics that they display. Now I'll do another video where I run through in a lot more detail who these archetypes are and introduce you to them properly but I'll first introduce you to an archetypal wheel that I created that will help you to see quite quickly what these archetypes are. So you can see from this wheel we have the outlaw, the magician, the hero, the lover, the jester, the everyman, the caregiver, the ruler, the creator, the innocent, the sage, and the explorer. So where do brand archetypes come from? Well, there's early evidence of archetypes over 2000 years ago when Plato was talking about forms of intuition, but then really archetypes came about in the early 1900s when a psychiatrist, Carl Jung, came about them and he applied them in the form of personalities. So they are a really useful way to understand other people and they have been used throughout movies time and again. We see these characters coming up time and again within movies, whether it's Will Farrell as the jester in The Anchorman or whether it's Marlon Brando as the ruler in The Godfather. So we, we know these characteristics and we know these personalities and we see them time and again. So how does that then translate into branding? Well, to put it simply, brands are becoming more and more human. We had this transition of consumer power when the millennial came about and social media came about and the consumers just had so much more power after that transition and it's forced brands to become a lot more human. So that's what we're seeing now. We're seeing brands adopt a lot more human personalities, human characteristics. So then we look to brand archetypes to act as the foundation to build those personalities for brands. Now, many years ago, brands got away with one-way communication, with broadcast communication, just sending out their messages and not having to speak really to their consumers. They didn't have to have two-way dialogue, but that's all changed today with the internet. It's all changed with social media and how brands communicate with their consumers. So now they've had to adapt this human persona and this tone of voice and these human traits. So that's where brand archetypes comes in. It really does allow brands to understand who their consumer is, who their target audience is, understand the type of personality that they are and the characteristics that they're attracted to. So brand archetypes are a really, really useful tool within brand strategy itself, but specifically with the development of your brand personality. So if you are developing brand strategies for your clients or if you're developing a brand personality for your own brand or for a client, then it's really, really important to have a good grasp on what archetypes are and how you can strategically use them. But I would love to hear from you if you have any questions at all around brand archetypes or how you apply them or what your experiences are with brand archetypes, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button as well. And hit the notification bell as well. It'll let you know when I've got new videos coming out. If you want more exclusive tips and techniques like this, head on over to brandmasteracademy.com and sign up for the newsletter. It is free and I do keep some exclusive tips for my list. But as I said, let me know in the comments below if you did enjoy this video or if you do have any questions. Until next time, brand like a master and I will see you in the next video.